Welcome back to What Arty Noobs with General Disturbance. This is an AMX Chasseur de Char, the AMX CDC. It's a tier 8 premium medium tank and it's located on the Westbourne of Airfield and it's being commanded by tier 45. So what can I tell you about the AMX CDC? Well, never went into production because the French government thought it was too expensive, too costly. It was originally proposed as a tank destroyer, would you believe it? Um, but actually it more suits a medium tank. It's a bit of a glass cannon because uh, it's got very light armor. It's got a mechanical loading system for the 90mm gun. Um, it's fast, it's nippy, and it's one of those go-to tanks that some Unicums like. And I know that QB said whenever he needed to earn credits he would use his AMX CDC and uh, go and bash out a few hundred thousand with a few games. So. He's got his first victim lined up, a spick up on Temple Mount, ground out. Nope, nothing on that. Missed him. He'll probably get another chance. He's hiding behind the walls. On the side. Oh, Artie fired at him. <laughs> and there's a T-54 Mob 1. Looks like the enemy are moving up in force. Ah, now moving to get a better position on that spick. There's a Bulldog, ouch. Uh, they are moving up in force and the Spick's coming down here as well. Yeah, it looks like they're making a thrust on the south uh, area and that's going to be CDC's problem to sort out. Now, oh, which one's he going for first? He's been spotted. Okay, now. Who's going to be the first? He's pulling back. Trying to see if he can get a shot on these without actually exposing himself. That rock there is in the way so he needs to get behind it get a shot oh we can get a shot on the su-100 fires a shot in gets a good hit 249 nice can't get further over without dropping off the cliff oh the spick's headed this way here he comes locked on oh he fired too soon ouch so he's gonna yeah he's rammed him that's taken a few off but he would have damaged himself and the spick will get a shot in he does 253 but I'm sure that the CDC will take... Yes, he got him. One more shot was all it needed to finish him off. Spick's very light tank, so... It's going to go for that Bulldog. Ooh! Unfortunately, it looks like he had to burn his repair kit because he tracked himself going over that cliff like that. And the Bulldog was taken out by the Cromwell. So he's fired a shot into the T-54 Mob 1. But he's turned side on. Ouch! That's not a good idea. He fires a shot in. Oh, he's been amaracked. That's going to be awkward. His re uh, reload time's now gone to 12 seconds. But he finishes off the T-54 Mob 1, but now he's in a bit of a problem because he's burned his repair kit already. He's still got a minute to wait for that to be cured. And it looks like that IS is headed up this way. And he can't get back, so I think he's going to try and get down to the beach. Awkward way of doing it, but... And now he's got an IS to deal with. He fires around him. I think he just tracked that IS. Yeah, one critical hit. Yeah, he just tracked him. So he's going to have to hide from that IS too now. Otherwise, he might get taken out. He's only got 365 hit points left. That's 26% of his actual original start load. He just traded too much with the others. Well, that round went in and he actually got 120 hit points from the track being destroyed. That was from somebody else hitting the IS too, not him. But he's waiting for the reload to go in. Try again. Oh, the, the IS-2 was distracted. 49 hit points and that finished him off. But the other IS has come down. And he's looking for him. There he is. Oh, he's got his rear. Lovely. Thank you very much. I'll have that 238. Very kind of you. Uh, but unfortunately, the IS now knows where you are. Ouch. Fires around in. That one bounces. I think he hit the tracks. Uh, he can't risk it because that IS will get a shot at him. It won't finish him off, but yeah, oh, he got a nice hit there, 250. But the worry is if that IS gets one big shot into him, he's going to be down to only a few hit points left. Can he get another shot? No, that's auto. It didn't work. What's he going to do? Oh my god, he's going up over the top. Well, that's one way of dealing with it, but he fired. Unfortunately, that was a bad shot. Uh, that one wasn't. That works. 210. He was lucky that the IS was distracted by him going over the top, but he really did fire that round badly when he finished going over the top. 
Should have waited for the gun to steady before shooting. Ah, we've got a poodle up there on Temple Mount. Or is he? No, he's on the other side of Temple Mount. So he's going to have to go round. But at least he's got the Cromwell and Type 58 Company, as well as the T12. Now, this is a Tier 8 game. So he's going to see some lower tier tanks. And the poodle is Tier 6. So he should be able to monster him. Oh, the Type 58 monstered him. Now, all avoid the Cromwell because you don't want to get... You don't want to knock him out because he's only got 12 hit points left. He lost 3 hit points in that, but he could actually take the Cromwell out of the game by accidentally ramming him. Oh, 87. This is going to be a difficult customer. And he was seen. He's popping up to take a shot. He has got this wreck to play with, but behind him is a KV-2 up on the hill. And that KV-2 could be very, very nasty. Of course, he's going to be proxy spotting the CDC. Yeah, the kv 2s coming down. He needs to get out of there and quick. And he's come down. And luckily, that shell from the enemy RT, uh, which is an AMX 13 uh, missed him just by a whisker. He's got a 155mm gun, that RT, so he needs to stay away. And that KV-2 has got a 152mm howitzer as main armament. And that's a good hit. 264, do that once more, and that KV-2 will be toast. And he's going to come in behind him. Very sneaky. And yes, oh, it's not finished him off. 67, could ram. Can he's got a high caliber now. He's going to finish him off. Yeah, lovely shot. But now they've got that 87 to deal with. Ouch. And we've got a 5916, that's a tier 6 light tank. And we've got a Dickamax up on the hill. He's surrounded by tanks now, he's got them on all sides. Now he can get an auto aim shot, but he's got to watch out for the AT7. Gets a shot on the Dickamax. Now he's got that 5916 on the other side, but he's been uh, kept interested by that 112. Now can he get a shot into this 5916? Well, not at the moment. He's just too far over in the dip. Now, he might be able to deal with the AT-7 from behind. Or he can take sniper shots. Well, there he is. Side on. Should be able to get a round through. Might need to use APCR. He's got 16 rounds left. Oh dear, the 59-16 took out the 112. And that's annoying because it's now 3 versus 2. And that 59-16, well, he's headed down. Can you see where he's going? Not yet. He might be going for the cap. Well, the ELC Evan is coming up behind the AT-7 at the moment. So he's going to spot him. And that would allow... Uh, tier 45 to put a few rounds into him. There's the 59-16. Okay. And there's the AT-7. Okay, so he knows where they are. He can go up onto Temple Mount and take advantage of them. There's the AT-7. He's being attacked by the ELC, and that round failed. Need to switch to APCR, mate. Oh, now he's facing the AT-7. That'd be bad news. Going for the 5916 instead. He'll get those in using AP. Now, what's the 5916 going to do? Well, he can't really come around the corner because he's facing a tier 8 gun, and that could finish his game off. The ELC Evan is also um, a tier 8. And a very powerful 90mm gun as well. So, question is, what are the 5916 and the 87 going to do? Because remember, they've got an RT. Well, the, the 87 is going up onto the Temple Mount. The enemy RT has been spotted. Okay, we know where he is. We could deal with him. And the ELC haven't got around into him. And finished him off. And there's the 5916. He finishes him off. That's brought up his top gun. And there's the 87 side on. Oh, unfortunately wasn't loaded, so he couldn't shoot. But the 87 is facing off against the ELC. And the ELC really has given up on his speed to, to do that. Oh, this is awkward. These new rocks, they're very difficult to get down. It used to be fairly easy to get down from the cliff. Not now. There's a good chance you might flip yourself over on some of these rocks. If you don't flip yourself over, you might do damage to your vehicle. But I suppose that's why they were designed that way. Now, the EOS, the AT-7 always face on to us, but he manages to put a round in. 39 hit points, finishes him off and wins the game. Thanks also to the ELC Ev Evan 90 ISAT Coglista. Well done. 
he kept that 87 occupied all the time whilst uh, tier 45 was able to get into a good position and finish that 87 got a win eight for that battle of 7492 let's have a look at the end of battle results and it's an ace tanker for tier 45 in the amx cdc he also picked up a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits crew incapacitations or module damage he got six he got a judas medal for killing two tanks that uh, did damage to him during the battle a fire for effect for dealing more damage than the hit points to his vehicle he got a high caliber for dealing the most damage in the battle and a top gun for getting at least six kills and he actually got seven as you can see with so one shy of getting a radley's so highest damage three four two five very nice um actually just beat the lc evan uh, not by much as well <laughs> so i think the lc will be very happy though to finish that battle alive because he was tempting fate um but seven kills monsters anybody else uh, three times more than uh, more than three times uh, the highest score of the enemy team the highest scorer being uh, well four of them on the enemy team um and he also got the highest base xp of 1380 and that counts for his ace he fired 30 rounds got 23 direct hits 18 penetration damage of 3425 hit points of which 249 were at more than 300 meters he received four hits and they were all penetrations and they all hurt um some were at close range as well with the spick um he also received two hits as a result of splash damage and they came from the amx 13 f3 uh, he spotted two enemy vehicles, he damaged 10 of them and killed 7 of them, and did damage assistance of 714 hit points. And I think some of that was actually on the IS-2, which he managed to track quite effectively and allowed some of his teammates to put some holes into him. Um, on a standard account, this is a standard account, not a premium, standard, he earned 72,198 credits. If he had a premium account, he would have earned 108,297 credits, which just goes to show how much of a money maker the CDC can be with a premium account. Uh, he got a personal missions power to 10,000 credits. He got compensation for the damage caused by the Cromwell when he ran into him. Um, and after repairs, ammunition resupply and consumables, he still had 58,104 credits. And if he'd had a premium account, he would have taken home 94,212 credits. You see how fantastic the CDC is for earning credits. And just what QB said in his video, if he wants to earn money, he can pull out his AMX CDC, take it on a few runs, and he's got everything he needs. So he received 1,380 XP. Uh, it was times two for the first victory of the day, and he had a personal missions payout and a premium payout because this is a premium vehicle, so he gets extra XP for that, bringing up a total of 3,588 XP altogether. So a very profitable battle, not just in credits for a, a, a standard account. This was a standard account, not a premium account, but uh, a very profitable one all round, and very nice to get that ace tanker. So congratulations, Tier 45. Thank you for sending in this replay. I very much appreciated. We do like to see uh, a tank played well. And although you did take a few chances, like jumping off that cliff, going after the uh, Walker Bulldog, um, and of course you had to burn your repair kit in the process, it was still interesting to watch some of the maneuvers you took, like going over the top of the rock to have a go at the IS as he was going around it. Uh, never seen that done before, actually, so I was quite pleased to see something like that. So, if you enjoyed this replay, please give it a like and do subscribe to our channel. And hopefully it'll be your replay that I'll be featuring in our next video.